point on the globe. Any point, and Maersk won't be far away. Transporting the cargoes that connect India to the rest of the world. Securing the supply of energy to keep our world moving forward. Building businesses with local partners. Creating jobs, helping the economy grow. Many places. One way of doing business. We are Maersk. And we are preparing for new times in a modern India. India's trade is growing and mountains of goods have to be moved from one side of the world to the other. To the most remote corners, to the busiest centers. This is done every day by Maersk Line, the world's largest carrier of shipping containers, providing a reliable chain of supply for traders all over India. How does Maersk Line manage to service locally and ship globally? For Maersk Line, especially in India for us, we deal with a wide range of customers. Uh, almost every industry starting from basic agro industries to high-end automobiles and, and finished goods. A customer like Nissan, uh, as big as this in Chennai, actually gets a lot of components inbound from different parts of the world. So we, as Maersk Line, play a part in ensuring the parts get shipped to the Nissan plant in Chennai on time. They get thousands of parts that come in as imports that go into making an automobile, which are then finally exported out to an end customer somewhere in Europe. On the other side, there's, there's someone like Saint Gobain, whose ships are extremely fragile commodity as glass. Glass, as you would know, is largely a production line which cannot be stopped for a decade or more. So if the equipment is not available on time, that means the warehouse gets stocked full of glass. And eventually it's a delivery that they would have not met for their customers in, in probably construction or automotive industry worldwide. From the outside, most containers look the same but it's the kind of cargo that goes in the container and it's the kind of requirement for each commodity. For St. Gobain, the requirements are quite specific. Glass moves in a special type of container. It's a 20-foot open top. So equipment availability to ensure that St. Gobain has the containers uh, at the right time to ensure they're able to export. Few would imagine that large sheets of glass would be shipped in containers many, many miles, hundreds of miles across the ocean uh, without a single scratch. I think the best day is when we actually have somebody like probably Nissan or St. Gobain uh, for that matter or any customer to walk across and tells us you guys have made a difference to their delivery. So it could be ensuring that the glass is actually shipped to somebody in the Middle East where the construction managed to kick off on time and that we played a large part in ensuring that they've been able to finish the construction of building. Some of the most important challenges that we face today in Maersk Line India are breaking down complex supply chain issues of our customers into simple solutions, enabling them to ensure that their promise to their end customers are met. Seeing our customers deliver their promise to their customers, I think is, is by far the, the biggest satisfaction that we as Maersk Line can get.
The wheels of industry depend on oil and gas to keep them turning, so our civilization can advance. But as demand continues to grow, sources of easy oil and gas become scarce. Remaining reserves are harder to access, harder to extract. How is Maersk Oil unlocking their potential? My name is Marianne Richterhausen. I'm working as a well site geologist in Maersk Oil uh, in Qatar. What really excites me about the job is that it's like a treasure hunt. We are searching for the black gold and we know it's hidden in the underground, we just don't know where it is. And by collecting and analyzing all sorts of data, we get indications of where uh, the hydrocarbons are hidden. Maersk Oil never went for the easy accessible oil, but dealing with the more difficult reservoirs by gaining knowledge and developing technical skills in the way that Maersk Oil succeeded in turning some of those marginal fields into huge commercial successes. And a brilliant example of this is the Al Tahin field offshore Qatar, where we are now. When we went into Qatar, no one thought it would be possible to actually produce commercially from it. But we proved ourselves right by transferring our knowledge we have gained by working in the North Sea, which were also very difficult reservoirs, and transferring that knowledge to the Al Shaheen field. And today we are having a production of 300,000 barrels a day. It's all about using our science and technology in uh, turning the marginal fields into commercial successes and thereby making the impossible possible. And that's just great to be a part of, and I love that. On this planet of ours, eight out of ten people live in growth markets. Their future depends on building strong and stable economies. But how do you create an economy today that's prepared for tomorrow? It starts with establishing trading connections to the world, with infrastructure and logistics to support them, and local people with the right motivation, the right skills to make these gateways work. How do you solve the logistical challenge of this scale? How do you manage each customer's supply chain to give maximum control at minimum cost. We uh, specialize in providing end-to-end -end logistics solutions. For example, our customers find a right uh, manufacturer or supplier in countries like India, China, Vietnam, and then they call Danco to move their uh, cargo. We manage and develop their entire supply chain, including from uh, importing raw materials to exporting finished products, not only to the port, but to uh, their distribution centers, their stores, or to their final customers. Shanghai is a very interesting city. Everything runs really fast. Uh, people work very fast, people talk fast. Very motivating place for our people to work. We believe that uh, uh, no two customers are really alike. So every single customer needs their own tailor-made solutions. We really work very closely with our customer, try to understand their business, and then come up with customized solutions to fit their specific business. Nature is a force to be reckoned with, to be respected, to be treated with care. She gathers her resources in the most remote environments. Nature challenges us to drill deeper, go further, to find ways to do business safely and responsibly, under the most extreme conditions imaginable. 
How do you face these challenges when you work on a semi-submersible rig for Maersk drilling? What's not to like about a rig like this? Look at it, out here in the middle of the ocean. I'm in charge of the drilling team, the auxiliary and the main side, the equipment for the well, and also the safety of the guys out here. Out here we have to be ready for anything that uh, nature can throw at us. This is what you need, you'll need a rig like this. The old type rig, they'll never be able to come out here. A huge rig like this can stay right in the very same spot all the time due to its dynamic positioning. No matter what the weather's like, the current, the waves, this can stay over the uh, top of a 50 pence piece. From a big rig like this now, we can drill 12 kilometers away just with the touch of a finger on a joystick and get ourselves right into that reservoir for the oil companies. We're the stars of the future, and that's why our equipment and our people continue moving the boundaries in the drilling industry. This is a magnificent piece of machinery, and who wouldn't want to work on such a beauty like this? Wherever you find us, we are preparing for the future. But as the world changes and Maersk adapts, one thing remains constant. Our way of doing business. And the basic principle is that people can trust us. That authorities can trust us, that employees can trust us, and that business connections can trust us. The world should be a bond. We exercise constant care. By constant care, I mean care at the time the action is taken. And it's much easier if you do it right the first time, instead of having to correct or add later on. That's difficult. Well, of course, if the care delays the decision-making, it can be too much. The constant care is the proverb that my papa left to me and to the group. I tell you, I'm hope.